This is a new Acer Timeline X 1830T. Comes with 4 gigs of RAM, 11.6 inch screen. Comes with a 500 gig 5400 RPM hard drive. And I'm just going to run some tests on it. I set it up already. And I'm going to run some tests to see what speed increases I can get when I install this new. OCZ 60 gigabyte Vertex 2 SSD drive. Alright, we'll go ahead and boot it up and see how it performs before the upgrade. Our first test is just going to be a boot test. Let's see how long it takes to actually start the thing up and get into Windows. Okay, that looked like about 55 seconds. It's a little bit higher than what I was thinking it was going to be. But let's go ahead and we'll, we'll do a few more tests and then we'll install the hard drive. One more thing I wanted to show would be the Windows score. This is the Windows Experience score and it's getting currently a 3.4. This is again with the hard drive. You can see the i7, 4 gigs of RAM. And let's see what we've got here. We've got processors, 5.6, RAM, 5.6, graphics, 3.5, gaming graphics, 3.4, and primary hard disk is 5.8. So let's see what happens after the SSD install. For those of you that are curious, this is the SSD drive and what it comes with. We've got the drive itself. Looks kind of like a, just a regular hard drive almost. And it also comes with this little tray right here. I guess that's for mounting in a larger computer. And a little sticker. Okay, here's the inside of the motherboard with the old hard drive still in there. I thought I'd show a shot of this. We have the hard drive over here. It looks like they have two 2 gig sticks of RAM. And then there's your wireless PCI with just two little connectors on it. I just popped off about six screws, five or six screws, and came right off. There was uh, one screw attaching the hard drive to the motherboard via this little uh, tray right here, and that screw was right about here. After that, I removed the uh, rest of the screws and unattached the old hard drive from this case casing, and I'm going to attach it on the, the new drive. I had about was three screws in there, so three plus one on the motherboard, so four screws to remove the hard drive actually pretty easy to work on. Okay, now I've installed the SSD drive, I've installed Windows 7 64-bit, and now we're going to look at the new boot time. Wow, that was about 23 seconds. Way down for, I believe, before it was over a minute. 
Well, I'll come back in just a second and we'll look at some of the other settings. Okay, unfortunately it wouldn't display the Windows score. I'm not quite sure, you know, what's what's wrong with that, but not important. The boot time was uh, dramatically decreased. I can tell it's much, much faster. And I'm really happy with the, the way this turned out. Thanks for watching.